Well, hello dolls and welcome back to my channel. Disclaimer, Erin's still mowing the lawn. It has been a long time, but I am here today with a favorite video for you. Are you so excited? I can't believe it's June and that we are halfway through the year and that I am now 29 years old. If you're on my social media, you will know that I have for like the past six months been going back to the salon regularly and taking care of my hair after going two to three years between haircuts before that. So because of this, I finally broke down and bought a blow dryer again. This product is something that my stylist used on me in the salon and I was amazed by it. And so I had to go out and buy it for myself and see if I could get the same results in home. Let me tell you a thing, it did. This is Redkin's Pillow Proof Blow Dry Express Treatment Primer. This is a cream, a very thick cream, and look at the packaging, it's so pretty. It's pink and shiny, guys. It's one of those top pump, pumpity pumpers. Ooh. Uh, when you use it, your hair dries more quickly, and it's also got a heat protected in it, which I am a big fan of. I have a lot of hair. It's thick. Like I stopped blow drying it for years. It would take me an hour or more to blow dry it. This is amazing. It really just cuts my drying time by more than half. My hair is dry in like 10 minutes, depending on what I'm doing with it. Next, I have a body lotion, which I've been obsessed with. I am trying to have more natural products in my life. This is the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex Body Lotion. This stuff smells amazing. It just smells so fruity and delicious and amazing. And like, it smells so good I want to eat it. No parabens, no phthalates, no paraffin, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color, no DEA, no sulfates, no animal testing. And I can read pretty much everything in the ingredients list, which I am about. The only thing that I don't like about this product is how thick it is. This needs to be in a tub and not in a squeeze bottle because you can't squeeze it out of the bottle. It's so thick. I'm shaking and it's not moving. And I try and keep this upside down. No, it doesn't move. It just, it stays. It's sucked up into that bottle. And I have to squeeze so hard to get it out of the bottle. And this top, no. Look, I'm squeezing and nothing's happening. Can you tell how thick that is? Well, it's a little more difficult to use, but it smells so good and it works amazingly well. My skin is so effing soft and smooth when I use this. I love it, my boyfriend loves it, and this is actually something I wasn't looking for but got sent to me in my monthly julep box and I have been obsessed with it. Julep's Boost Your Radiance Reparative Rose Hip Seed Facial Oil. Look at this pretty little glass bottle. Did packaging, whore. I've used this almost every day, sometimes twice a day since I've gotten it. I've used a good bit of it, but I still got plenty left. It really does make me radiant. When I use it at night, especially after I have showered, the next morning my skin just looks amazing. It doesn't seem to make me any more oily than I already am. If you've been watching me for a long, long time, you might remember this product because I raved about it years ago and then it went out of stock and it never returned whenever I went back to the website to find it. And then a few months ago, guys, I just, I went to check the website with no hope and it was there and I bought four bottles, <laughs> four bottles and I wanna buy more. This is the Skinny Chick perfume from Harvey Prince. This stuff smells so good. It's very apple-y, light and fruity, which is my jam. It doesn't give me a headache or make me sneeze when I put it on, which most perfumes do. If you want something light and subtle and fruity, this is a great summertime fragrant. Fragrance? Fragrance if you live that seasonal beauty product life. This is just a eye blending brush from Wet n Wild. I didn't even know they made brushes. Guys, it's dirty, so just excuse it because I use it all the time. I wanted to repurchase 
my wet and wild um, walking on egg shells eyeshadow trio oh, so i was on drugstore.com and lo and behold make brushes came up and i'm like what what excuse me ma'am wet and wild makes mango brushes so i had to get one i want like 10 of these but it's very fluffy it works really really well and that's all that matters so go get you some but i have been obsessed with the pirates of the caribbean collection from Lorac in honor of the new movie. This is limited edition. I think it's still out. First of all, the packaging. I mean, this eyeshadow palette is kind of bulky, so it's not like I can travel with it really, but look at that. Look at that. You get an effing huge mirror. Hi, say hello to yourself. That's my super uh, high-tech filming setup. That was if you don't like Lorac eyeshadow, you're not gonna like these, but I happen to love Lorac. It is my personal favorite eyeshadow. I have not found anything better. This also came with an eyeliner and a brush. Um, the brush is all right. The eyeliner, I haven't decided whether I like it yet or not. And then here is the blush slash highlighter palette. And oh my God, this is my new favorite thing in life. I'm wearing the blush and highlighter today, and I've gotten so many compliments since I've been using this about how glowy and amazing my skin is, and nobody said that when I'm rocking Anastasia. Another nice sized mirror, and it says chart a course for the stars on it, which I am about. Look at these. So these are blushes, these are highlighters. I love this blush for a nice mauve look. This one I've contoured with and used as a blush, but. All of these highlighters are amazing. What? Well, hello. Hello, gorgeous. These are so soft and creamy. There's my arm. This isn't, this is so not how the other girls do it. But oh my God, it's so beautiful. And it lasts all day. Last part of the collection, there are six lipsticks. I have five of the six, except for the blue one. These are amazing. I'd never really tried. Oh. oh, I haven't even used this one yet. Guys, guys. Uh. But I've really been enjoying these. The lip glosses are amazing on their own. The lipsticks are great and smooth and pigmented and I'm about it. And again, packaging, packaging, yo. Honestly, I would rather have these as a set rather than as a dual ended thing because it's just bulky. I've had ones like this before where it's a lipstick on one end and a lip gloss on the other end. And it just, it doesn't feel correct when I'm putting it on. It is nice to have the two things in one in your purse, but like I would rather, I would rather just have the two separate item. Look, I've been trying to read more this year and I've done a little better, but not great. Um, one of the books I have been reading because I switch between books. I do like three books at a time. I know I'm weird. So Kanye West owes me $300 and other true stories from a white rapper who almost made it big by Jensen Karp, formerly known as Hot Carl. This guy is hilarious and it's really interesting to get a look into the world of like 90s slash early 2000 rap from a tiny little what, Jewish kid. I actually heard about this book because this man was on a podcast that I listened to and I really liked his presence on the podcast and I'm like, oh, a book, I'll read that. As far as TV and movies, Aaron and I have been watching Eureka, which you may or may not have heard of. It was an early 2000s TV show from the Sci-Fi Channel where there is a tiny little town full of scientists and scientific exploration and mayhem ensues and the one straight man in town, Jack Carter is the sheriff and he has to fix all of this crazy stuff that the scientists screw up and he saves the day over and over again. I watched this show when it was originally on and I loved it and then I never watched the last season because I knew it was the last season and I didn't want it to be over. So like, it's never been over for me. It's just been unfinished. I really think it's a funny show that anyone could enjoy that may or may not be true. But especially if you are sciencey and nerdy and you like that side of things, Erin and I just sit there and say, well, this scientific principle is true, but this is not how it would happen. And let me tell you a thing, Erin a little bit more so, cause he's an engineer and he's all smart, smarter than I am. If you like to dissect that kind of stuff and be like, 
that's not how it works, that's not science, then this show is for you. The man who plays Sheriff Jack Carter, whose name escapes me at the moment, is amazing. I love him. As far as music goes, this is so silly and it's so old. Aaron and I have been obsessed with Michael Bolton a little bit lately. We watched Michael Bolton's Big Sexy Valentine's Day special on Netflix, which as of my last knowledge recently, it was still on Netflix. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's hilarious. And we've just been obsessed with it. And you may or may not remember that Michael Bolton did a little ditty with Lonely Island back in the day. This is the tale, Captain Jack Sparrow. He did that on the special and it was amazing. And Aaron and I have just been obsessed with that song and we sing it to each other all the time. And we send each other gifs from the video all the time. It is my new ringtone on my phone, no joke. It is also one of my most played on my iTunes right now. This pair of leggings from the online legging store, which you may or may not see all the time on the Facebook, the Beauty and the Beast leggings, you guys. These leggings are super soft, they're super comfortable, you can't see through them, which is 10 out of 10 for those of you who wear leggings and know the struggle. I can't even, they're so pretty. Oh, Beauty and the Beast is one of my things. That is it for my May favorites. I cannot believe the year is half gone. I've been considering doing another long time favorites, long time loves type thing. I did one of those a couple years ago. So if you wanna see some of the products that I've been loving over the couple years that I've been away, please leave a comment down below and I will do that for you guys. I am also working on the boyfriend tag. Aaron and I filmed it for Valentine's Day. We ended up having like two hours of footage and I had to edit it so freaking much that I started to hate us, so I had to put it away. That is mostly done though, so if you wanna see more of my love, Aaron, please leave a comment down below and I will get that uploaded for you guys. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you love any of the stuff I've been loving. If you wanna see more of my face and this highlighter, hello, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. It's a great day. Shit, I forgot something. I'll be right back. Oh no, I won't, cause I have one right here from my other video. <laughs> Yeah. Nah. Every time I blue dry it, blue, blow, blown? How, what is the, what is the past tense for blow dry? Coffee bean extract. Extract? Try extract. Slow down there, crazy. In the morning, under makeup, but it doesn't seem to make me, I got something in my eye. Huh. Why? Need to learn to stop putting my hands in front of my face. I... Back to reality. I...